Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Nolay, and today we're going to be playing Revelation Online. Now, a big no no that this game has done so far is one, it popped up in Windows and gave me no option as soon as I get to the screen and did not give me an option before I launched. So I'm hoping the settings will actually give me something as I go in. No, we just get story. All right. I really hope you guys add an option on your screen or your startup screen, please. Well, I'm going to be doing a first impression today. I'm probably going to have to use a um, borderless window program just to get this into borderless. Uh, so, okay, what classes do we have? We have cultists, which is probably like our wizard. Okay, if I scroll out, I... So I can't like scroll out and look at him a little bit more. Alright, noted. Cultists. Pretty much like our scythe fighter. Then we have Spirit Shaper. Wait, can I see a video of her? Ah, she like summons creatures that fight for her. Alright, that's actually pretty dope. Uh, I think she's pretty evil. So I'm gonna avoid her. <laughs> All right, we got Vanguard. I can, I can kind of see that. So that's pretty much like a Lancer in a way. We got Blade Master. He's an actual blade master. He has all kinds of different like swords. Did the cultists have anything good too? Oh, okay. He has a creepy intro. He or she, whichever one. Oh, so he learns something new every day. But yes, yeah, technically like a necromancer. Okay, that's pretty dope. Next, we got Sword Mage. From this angle, she looks like she has creepy black eyes with no pupils. Uh, video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, she looks pretty, pretty dope. And last but not least, we have ourselves the Gunslinger. Which the class I might go with. Pretty dope, pretty dope. I'm gonna go with Gunslinger. Look at this. Oh. Alright, pretty active, like, <laughs> selections. I'll give it that. So this game is like turned me onto it and off a couple of times. All the hype for it is just pretty much started to disappear for me. Sorry to say that, but it's it's just true for me. So they have different stances with each model too. All right, that's pretty that's pretty cool. Do I want to play male or female this time? I like her stance, but I also like his. And we're gonna play Mel. Let's see what hairs they got. Oh, they got some pre models. Uh. No, let's just go to actual hairs and look into this. So let's see. 
They got they got quite a few selections on hair. I'll give them that, and it actually looks pretty nice. And they got skin selection. They have nothing like extremely dark or darker. Okay. Noted. Okay, torso. I think that will just be just fine. It's all right. Not trying to make like a special character here. We can we have a lot of sliders for the torso, leg, and body that you guys can change. You can change the height. Make yourself tall as you want, as wide as you want. And we also got face. Seems like we got beards. That is a plus. I always love beards, even though I don't have one myself, but it's it's okay. It will come in, in the future. Hopefully. But it seems like we have like... The, okay, well, I pushed black and it disappeared. Noted. Uh, color brightness. Let's turn that down. Or turn it up. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, well, I'm trying to go to skin, but... Let's go to body. Skin. Okay, so wait. Yeah, they both have different like um, different like options. Okay, I, I did. What, I was not paying attention at all to that. Brightness. Nope. Still the darkest I can go. I was just trying to test it and see. Brightness is just pretty much lighting. Lighting, I guess? I have no idea. Really does not explain much to me. But that's literally as dark as our character can go. There is no other, like, colors or anything. But we got some really cool, like, tattoos and everything. Oh, that's actually pretty dope. But we don't really need a tattoo. And we got some faces. You can also change your eyebrows, uh, eyes, put on makeup, and change your lips and your face. You can change your pose and your appearance over here. Okay, this armor gives me a little bit of vibes from uh, Skyforge a little bit. Just looks like something they would wear. I'm liking this. I like that. But you can also have wings as well, apparently. Alright. Let's just get started. Oh, whoa. Illegal characters? What? Okay, well, I gotta say, pretty interesting story. I'll give it that. Oh, well, shit. I I'm fucked. Rips out titles. Like I said, there were no options at the start of it anyway, so... I was fucked either way it goes. Are there subtitles? Yes, we can look at options. Wow, mobile password, clear password, okay. Why is that in there? Let's see. Doesn't look like there's any subtitles. No, it's good. We don't need subtitles for too much of savages. Oh, at least you're in English.
Alright. So, another big no-no is that they have not countered uh, bots inside of their game yet. But I do realize this is open beta. It, it still has like time to change everything. Uh, I gotta pick a target first. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, rip that thing. I, I like his stance a little bit and how it moves. Even though it is, uh, you have to still target everything. Ah, oh, rip poor dummy. He did nothing to you. Hey, don't judge my laziness. How dare you? There we go. No. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's, that's, that's so not nice. This character hates me so much. Why do you do this? Our character's idle animation is the fire in the air. Alright, cowboy, calm down. Alright, it gives me a little bit a feel of Blade and Soul as well. So that, I'm also liking that. It still is t staying like action MMO. It's just giving you like a lock on to like where you would stay locked on to your opponent, I'm guessing. I guess we'll see that later on. Click on the equip button. Click on the equip button to complete the quest. For action mode players, press okay. to bring up the cursor. Uh, well, I guess I have to actually go to it, because, uh, that's not working. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Left click. I don't know. I like this a lot better. But this has better stats, I guess. Oh, I like how the stats pop up. And how much it decreases. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Like, Alright, so far it's dope. It just had a few things I did not like from the start. Alright. So it does not keep locked into your screen. So if you just take off of it, it, it just pretty much shows that. That's just pretty much it. I can still dodge though. We got stamina for dodge. Okay. I almost died. Like I said before, it's it's not a true gameplay until I actually die in one of these. <laughs> Alright, uh go back to there. Is there auto pathing? Yes there is. Attack the monsters with your skills. Doesn't look like he's being bullied to me. It just looks like they're all having fun. Okay. Okay, I, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, damn it. Am I even hitting the ones I'm supposed to be killing? No, I, I'm definitely not killing these. I'm killing these instead, okay. Okay, well, that's noted. It, so, I just go talk to him.
Okay, so we're automatically giving random things names. I don't trust the egg. Wait, is he in my inventory? What the hell? Or I can hold shift. Alright, so what am I supposed to be doing here? Ah, okay. So just pretty much activation quest. Alright, that's actually pretty cool. Looks like this game does have a lot of pretty cool ideas. But... Eh... I don't think it's my type of game so far. Press the space bar again during aerial leap to glide. I love how he runs though. If anyone has ever watched the uh, anime I Shield 21, that that's how he reminds me when he runs. Especially when he's like curving. I'm not dragging my feet. Did you not see me football run all the way over here? Alright. I guess I'm going in. Wait, what kind of food do I have? Hold on. Hold on. Does it look delicious? Can I just eat it now? These people honestly don't need this food. Just looks like a bunch of bacon. Now nah, I'm hungry. God damn it. I wonder if you can get part-time jobs inside of here. Look at this person. Been eating all the food. Just can't keep your, keep your hands off all the food, man. I know the feel. I know the feel. Alright, guess we're going to a new place, maybe? Ah, yep. So what are we doing here? Alright, here we go. Oh, okay. Quick time events. Okay, don't catch me off guard, man. Because I will, will let him die. Uh. Alright, that's actually pretty cool that they have quick time events like that. And during their cutscenes, that would throw anybody off guard if they just went AFK in their character. Just to come back, and their character's just dead. <laughs> I don't think you can die in those, but looks like something you would die from. That was like the most flashiest quick time event I've done in a while, but during a cutscene. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> so we're taking the Borderlands route with introducing our characters. I like it. I like it. Where is Mr. Uh, Falsey? Oh, there he is. He'll be fine.
All right, seems like our friend walked it off. He should be good now. Seems like I either got a new skill or, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a new skill. Skill highlight. Pretty sure no, most people would know that. But let's equip this. I like how they pop up as well. But like I've been saying, the game has some like pretty good ideas. Doesn't seem like it's much of hold your hand. But the thing that throws me off down here is that this looks like a HP bar instead of the life above my head. So I constantly think I've been dying. <laughs> but now I get it. I have not been close to dying that I know of. Gotta say, the gameplay is actually pretty nice. Uh, can I switch like weapons? Or is that like... Nothing I can do. I don't know why you're circling around me, Crab. Just accept your fate. Uh, can I see my character? Yes, I can. Uh, how does one like change his weapon and everything? I guess we'll figure that out down the road. Next quest. It seems like I got a gift. Oh. Play for a certain amount of time and get get a gift. Okay. And logins as well. Oh god, we got wings now. That that was sudden. But it seems like controlling your wings are pretty simple. Spaces to uh, extend, uh, well, X is to descend, apparently. Even though you would think control would be to descend. And shift is to dash. Okay, so basically I was just testing out the wings. Okay. No. Alright, pretty cool. I wonder what would happen if I was standing over the water. <laughs> I, I, sh I should have tested that. Darn it. <laughs> I was not thinking about it at all. Graphics wise, it looks pretty gorgeous. I'm see I see that it takes like different approaches in the graphics. But I'm pretty sure they take their own inspiration inside of their uh art style. But it looks like it's mixed with a little bit of uh Bladed Soul slash uh Black Desert a little bit. That's what the art style at least looks for me. Not too much of Black Desert though. Mostly it looks like a little bit more of Blade and Soul. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to select one of these. I can select the Panda. I can select the Lucky Rabbit. I'm gonna take the King of Beasts. Yes, I have a floating cat on my head that's not really connected to my head at all. Hey, what the hell is that? 
Okay, it automatically looks like I'm floating now. Okay. I love the running animation. That's all I gotta say. Customize skill. Oh. Okay. I think it'll be fine with the way it is. Because I can still reach Q, E, and all that. So I'm... I think I'm good. Apparently it's over here. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. But that would be terrifying as hell to see it out in real life. This is a big firework well coming at you. Oh, we got our little egg friend there. Alright, we're getting a lot of costumes. That I can say. I want the beer goggles. Give me those. Can I, can I look at my character now? Uh, hold on. Best character ever. Not even going to question it. Uh, where is this person now? I think I passed him. Or him. Hey buddy, just looking outside, moping. This guy just looks so weird to me. He, he looks like a monkey king. He, he honestly does. Submit that. Alright. I'm following. Get wrecked. What? what happened if I don't push it? Oh, I still dodge it. Okay. Alright, it's actually pretty cool. I give it that. It's a good thing we don't die during cutscenes. That's good. <laughs> you can just AFK if you wanted to. But it's basically just teaching you. Oh, so they do have indications of how the attack's gonna go. Alright. Noted. Look at me dance! Oh. Another quest completed. Like a bunch of savages. Let me just go ahead and equip that. Where are you going? Come back. Alright guys, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, as soon as we get done with this dude's quest. Or whatever cutscene's coming up. You're drunk. Go home. Yep, this, this is, oh, boat well, rip, well, but yeah, rip him. Yep, she's drunk, god darn it. I don't know how to feel about that, but, <laughs> okay. But guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. Now, uh, all I can say is the game's pretty good and worth trying out to see if you actually enjoy it. 
Right now, there's not as many as players as I thought it would be. I guess they're all in like different servers at the moment, but for now, uh, I gotta say the game's all right. I'm happy that they decided to go into open beta and let everybody test it out. And so far, it's pretty fun. And the story is everything is is like pretty funny. But I'm hoping they do add in subtitles for like certain cutscenes. So yeah, this is open beta, so I do know that it's still the work in progress and it's still being worked on. So so I'm just getting out the obvious and suggestions and ideas, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, like most of us are supposed to do during these open betas and give the developers something to think about a little bit. But yeah, with that said, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.